Hello everybody, this is Angry Shoes again, and I am here to give you an update on my vending machine, which is now broken. After the 1.6 patch, it's kind of useless now. Boosters are no longer a good way to go, so pretty much this whole thing is busted up. Um, there is, however, good news, which is that I, I think I have figured out a way to fix it. And that is, we're going to update it and use the new powered rails. Before we get started building our vending machine, let's take a look at what we're going to need. We're going to need some rails, some powered rails, some redstone, redstone torches, minecarts with chests on top, and some building materials, along with a couple of buttons and a few levers, which I have, oh there they are, levers. So those are going to be our materials, and we're going to need a fairly big area to build it in. This area right here will fit about four uh, minecart holders, and if you want to build it outdoors, just flatten out an area. If you want to build it indoors, I suggest building it outdoors first and then putting up the walls. It makes it a whole lot easier. You don't have to work as, in such a cramped spot. Now the way I'm going to teach you this is I'm going to break it up into three different parts. The first part is going to be building the trenches and the framework. The next part is going to be setting the rails and the last part will be uh, you making the uh, redstone wiring. So we'll get started with the first part right now. First thing we need to do is we need to make our minecart um, delivery spot. So this is going to be my delivery spot. All the minecarts will end up right here. And I'm going to put a button on top of this block here so that it gets returned. So when I push this button, it will return that way. And then right next to it, right there, I will put my coin button. And I'm going to make mine out of gold just so that I know that that's the coin button. You don't have to put them this close, but it really does help. And remember to leave yourself a little bit of space over here so that you can make your switches. All right, now that we've got that, we can start building our trenches. And we're gonna make our trenches be one deep um, for this first part here. First trench has to start about five away from this block here. All right, so we're gonna count this off. One, two, three, four, five. And that's where we're gonna dig our first hole. Oops, yep, right, no, one more. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, one more. There we go. That was my bad. We'll just fill that in. And we will build this trench all the way to the end. Now the next trenches are going to be branching trenches. Uh, and we're going to make them going in the same direction as we are putting our uh, coin button. So if your coin button is to the right, like mine, of your delivery station, then you want to make your branches go to the right. Now you can put your coin button on the other side, like this, and if you do that, you want to make sure that your trenches head to the left, and you want to then make sure your first trench starts on this block instead of this block. Alright, so we'll make our trenches, and we're going to make them five, five or so deep. So, or sorry, not five, we're going to make them seven deep. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, and then we're going to do the same thing three spaces over. So one, two, three. On the fourth space, we're going to do seven more. And the reason we want to do this is so that we can place in these cor in these uh, T intersections, we can place rail, so that we can then place powered rail. Whoops to the side like that, that's not working, like that, so that our power rail doesn't interact with the curve part there, because this needs to be switched on and off, and we don't want um, these things to be, these rails to be powered and mess with that. So I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of the trenches, and we're going to go one, two, three, and seven in, and we'll be right back. Now that you have that trench down, we're going to do one more trench on the back. And this one's going to start right here and go and, and connect to all the other trenches like this. And this is going to be for redstone wiring later on. 
So now you should have these rectangles. And once you're done with the rectangles, we can start placing our, our blocks for the framework of our uh, cart station. You want to place them right over these trenches, these branching trenches, and you want to place them about two, about two spaces up so that you can still walk underneath. So we're going to place our first one right there so that it goes like that. So it's one above here and then when we get over to our trenches it'll be two up so we can walk right under it. And we're going to make this one follow that first trench all the way to the end. Oops, like that. Get out of here. And then we're going to do the same thing with our branching tra trenches, but we only want to go up about five blocks. We want to stop right there. So one, two, three, four, and five. Whoops, no, five, but not, there we go. Five blocks so that we have these two end blocks free. Is that five? One, two, three, four, five. Nope, one more. I was right the first time. There we go. So we have these two end blocks here free. Was I right? No, I was right this time. There we go. Yes. No. Five. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Just like that. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And one more. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, like this. Our next piece of our framework is then going to be placed over here. We're going to put, um, we're going to go out one more and put in an extra block like that. Actually, like that, so that we have an L shape at the end. You don't need to put in that extra block. I'm just being silly now. Like that. Okay, now that you have that done, we can start building our return system. And our return system is going to go around and then back over so that it lines up wherever the cart needs to be held. And in order so that uh, the carts don't end up hitting each other, we're going to need a one block space. So I'm just going to put that there so that it reminds me that we need a one block space to get out. So now mine carts can go right under there. And then we can start building this one, two, three, out and leave the last one alone. And same thing for all of these. We're going to two blocks and one, two, three, and two blocks and one, two, three, and one more time. Oops, two blocks and then one, two, oops. One, two, three, just like that. So now that that's done, we need to make, well, we need to get rid of these, and then we need to make these come down to the grounds to meet us. So we'll do that by making uh, one more trench, because we're going to need to be doing some more uh, trenching. And we're going to do one more trench, and the way we're going to figure out where our next trench is is we're going to go out a couple and then give ourselves a little bit of, uh, of room here for this turn. We're going to then make this rail go up so that it's, um, so we can have it be up right away and not have to worry about it. And as you can see, what we need to, what we can't have happen is actually this. This isn't going to work. This needs, needs to go up and then turn. So what we need to do then is turn this out just a little bit more. So then it can go up. So we want to have this kind of structure here where we have, where we can have this turn change. And then we will follow this all the way to the end. All the, all the return cards will follow the same road like that. And we can mimic what we did over there down here. So we'll take block, down block, oops, like that. 
That's not right at all. There we go. Like that. So we're going to do this with all of these, and I'll finish that, and I'll be right back. Okay, now that that's done, we can start uh, building our uh, trench underneath this one. And the way we're going to do that trench is we're just going to go under so that we have a two, again, the two, two, so we have space to walk underneath it. And we're going to do this all the way to the end. Now that we're done building that last trench, we have to add a few more building blocks. We're going to add those at the end of our branch. This is to prevent the cart from going forward and so that it lands right there. Now sometimes, depending on what the cart feels like doing, it will either go to the left or the right. And in order to prevent that, we're going to build a little box around our delivery system right here. So the cart doesn't go left or right and it just goes right down the middle. Now I'm going to finish that for the rest of these branches and I will be right back. set of trenches. Now these trenches are going to run right underneath all of our branches and they're going to start about three blocks away from our first, um, from our uh, wooden rail or our wooden structure here. So we're going to line up with this uh, branch there and we're going to go about three out and then we're going to go in so that we are level here with this one step there. And I'll just place a, a torch there to remind me where to go. And we're just going to go all the way to the end here until we hit the outside again. So what this will do to, for us is this will give us uh, a place to build, um, to, sorry, to not to build, but to run uh, redstone wires. And we want to make sure that we leave this block there um, and just hit the end without going all the way to the end over there. And we're going to do the same thing for all, each one of these branches. So right here, one, two, three. Two down and then all the way there. So that we have this nice little T intersection. So I'm going to go ahead and finish those and then I will show you the whole structure once it's finished. Once you're done with that last bit of trenching, this is what your structure should look like. You should have two parallel lines that are going to be the main chutes for our mine cart rails. And then off of each one of those, you should have a, uh, a branch going up above and one that is level with your your chutes, your main chutes. Um, also, don't forget our little uh, boxes there. And that's pretty much our, our structure. And we will, I'll give you a little bit more of a tour. And next time, we will be placing some rails. <laughs>